welcome to our part 2 session of threat hunt using jupyter notebook guys so in this particular episode we are going to hunt for execution and we are going to see basic powershell execution threat hunt okay so if i just show you the first episode where we have built our uh, testing notebook dot spark ipdb so that was our testing phase and now if you have seen so we have created a threat hunt directory over here okay so inside this particular directory we are going to hunt everything okay we are going to store every of our notebook and we are going to play with it okay so moving on so if we just go inside the threat hunt directory if you see i have already created at notebook which is execution basic yes okay so basically basic powershell execution now what is this hypothesis all about so what we are trying to catch okay so you can pause a second and you can just read through it but what basically we are trying to identify if someone inside your machine trying to leverage powershell and trying to do some harm okay so it could be a process injection it could be something like wherever powershell has been loaded and it has an abnormal parent process or a abnormal parent process has loaded a powershell then it is loading a dll or it is trying to inject something or it is even opening a socket connection to do a c2 okay so that is our whole intention and our hypothesis is adversaries might be leveraging powershell to execute code within your environment so let us move on and let us run our first uh code so basically first we do need to do the initialization first so what do we mean by the initialization so in the initialization phase so we basically need to import all of our python libraries like from pyspark we are going to import the spark session that the way we have done in our past episode okay so once that is done we are going to create a, a temporary sql table obviously so in this particular phase initialization has been done so now we are going to do the data loading okay so now remember in your jupyter notebook if you put this exclamatory sign that means you can run any of your linux commands okay so we are going to do a wget and we are going to load our dummy data so we call this dummy data as empire launcher vbs.zip so this is nothing but uh, some dummy data of security logs and some dummy data of uh, uh, windows sysmon logs that we have captured it is already present uh, in in public uh, github repository you can refer them as well so now in the next step we are going to unzip that particular data again same command exclamatory unzip and this particular zip file okay so once that is done now this part is very important guys so we need to now data parsing okay so we need to perform the data parsing okay so this step i haven't shown you in past so what we are doing we are creating a variable where we are just reading the data okay so if you see this particular area spark read json so if your data is in csv format so you can mention spark dot read dot csv okay you can keep on typing and you can keep on uh, just pressing the tab it will give you the whatever the information and whatever the available version of it okay available things are in jupyter notebook so our data is empire launcher vbs we have just loaded that data it is successful now we are going to create a temporary table i told you right and we name it as empire okay so what we have done at this point of time um so let us assume that you have a data set okay so this is your data set which is unstructured data you do not know what is this data all about but this data is in json okay so we have converted that particular data into a structured data set that is our sql table that we are referencing over here as this empire data set okay so this is our temporary data set and we are working on that so what is the easiest thing is that you can write your sql syntaxes inside this particular table so you do not need to bother about like any python code and gibberish stuff and fancy stuff you can simply write whatever your analytics shows you can write simple sql queries and you can get the output with it okay so that is the basic thing of it now we need like to move on so once the data parsing is done so 
let us put a hold on our first hunting hypothesis that we are going to hunt okay and how we can write this markdown section over here so if you see there are options okay so this heading has been uh, obsolete now uh, so you can either select a code you can select a markdown or you can select a raw nb convert okay so whenever you want to write something that as a heading like for this example this data parsing all right so you just need to mention as md format this hash then hunting and this you just need to convert is as markdown just drop it down and press shift enter right so that would convert your code or or whatever you may be call it to a markdown okay that is the main intention of it okay so the next one is very important so once that is done so as you can see we have already uh, created the hunting one so now our first analytics okay so what we are going to see first okay so now you can just pause this particular area for a second but basic idea is that first we are trying to identify if a application or a user has ever tried to launch a powershell or not we are going to focus on event id 400 which is from windows powershell log which means application host started and also we are going to focus on 4103 that is the event id of powershell operational logs which means user started application host okay these are the two basic things on which we are going to focus on okay so how we can write our query is as simple as that guys so now let me show you what do i mean by that so now if you come here and if you see from our empire data table we are selecting timestamp host name channel name okay and empire data set is this data set that we have created over here we are simply calling it from here and we are selecting our channel from microsoft windows powershell operational as i told you right we are going to search for this event id and event id is 400 or 4103 that means if a user has initiated a powershell or a, a, any application has launched a powershell that is our main intention to hunt in this particular area now once i press shift enter it gave me the output so now at this particular point of time since i have so many load things coming up that means one thing for sure that okay i have at least powershell loading in my data set okay so that would give me some kind of hint now to move on to the next analytics which is also important so we are going to look for a non-interactive powershell session okay uh, so again we are choosing the markdown and non-interactive powershell session can be identified using process creation event id which is 4688 okay so this is our analytics looking for non-interactive powershell session and if i just want to show you what is the uh sql query syntax looks like again it is quite simple but the event id is 4688 so which is process creation event id in the windows security event log and what we are trying to identify we're trying to identify if there is a process which is powershell.exe or there is something which is not parent process like explorer.exe so that means we know that explorer.exe can launch powershell but we are trying to identify which are all the process that has launched powershell not from explorer and if you notice we have already a hit over here okay so ws script has launched powershell.exe which is looking abnormal guys okay so we need to now move on to our other analytics to verify whether our threat hunt uh, hypothesis can become successful or not or even it is a true positive okay so now our next hypothesis we are going to hunt for analytics 3 as well so where we are going to see for the same thing but this time we are going to look for inside windows security event logs and not in the powershell log okay so this time we are trying to target 4688 event id which is very much important and now if you can see that uh, from looking at this all of this event id both 
output matches that means there is a chance that we should look for our next analytics and we should see what is going inside that okay so we are going to simply run down that and now you see our same output has given out okay so ws script has launched powershell.exe so now we are confident that we need to look for our second and our fourth analytics so that we can go and we can see what is going inside that okay so what is that particular analytics we are going to do over here so we are going to identify monitor for processes which is loading powershell dll okay and remember guys so whenever we are trying to identify anything such anything as such so that means right uh uh if there is a process which is trying to load a powershell that means what we are trying to do over here so we are trying to load for event id 7 okay so event id 7 means uh obviously process load dll that is the exact thing whatever we are trying to identify over here and it should have a description as system management automation or uh, image loaded is the uh, command prompt or is a description it should give a system management automation okay that would give us a hint that a powershell process which is loaded by ws script has been trying to load some powershell onto it or or powershell dll onto it or not okay so now if you see here i have already run that particular sucker on and i have some output over here okay so now if you focus on this particular output it is trying to load system management automation dot dll dot ni dot dll which is suspicious because powershell doesn't need or powershell doesn't have to concentrate on anything which is windows assembly code native images okay so it is trying to load up that particular image and it is trying to load that particular dll into the memory so that means our analytics 4 becomes true positive and we are have a intention to go beyond that and we try to look for whether it has created any anything like uh, uh like pipe or not so that would be our next analytics we are going to identify for okay so what do i mean by the pipe okay so again just to give you the brief overview it is the event id 17 in the process now when a powershell process has loaded um, a dll it is trying to identify or trying to go out or utilizing your system to go out of your system it could be a c2 communication it can open up a, 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 a command pipe it can open up a, a script or it can even open up a something like a network connection as well okay so that is very important for that particular time we need to look for the process creation pipe okay that is event id 7 and if i just want to show you over here so basically process event id 7 so don't uh can put concentration on this error code because i will just rectify it this is this the error so this uh, uh parsing over here but what exactly we are trying to identify we are trying to identify windows event id 17 we are selecting timestamp host name images and pipe name and we are trying to look for windows event id 17 that means a process creation pipe and we are trying to look for ps host process creation that means the dll has been loaded and it has tried to execute something out of the memory okay but for this particular tutorial obviously if you see here so we won't identify anything okay so let me show you that instead and if i show you instead of that so i told you right so that was my error uh, going through multiple exclamation or multiple escape sequence but that was not the case actually but in the result i do not have any output over here okay so that means i do not have any dll process which has basically created a ps host or which has created a, a pipe basically using windows 17 right but hold on as a second so what exactly we are trying to identify at this point of time if we need to move on and if we try to identify if there is something which this dll tried to load up our domain or application domain okay 
that could give us a hint or that could give us another indication that this process has not loaded a pipe but it is trying to load a domain maybe a dga domain or stuff like that and it is trying to do some kind of outbound so that is our analytics 6 and that is our last analytics to prove of our basic powershell execution techniques so now if i just load this particular sucker on so this is quite simple guys so we are just trying to identify the event id which is 53504 and we are going to look for the windows powershell operational logs okay and again all the same stuff our empire data set and stuff like that and we are going to execute that instead okay so now if you see this particular thing over here this is interesting guys so you see there is a app domain default domain dot okay so now remember this is since this is our dummy data so obviously you won't see a uh, uh, actual domain that has loaded inside your memory but rather than a dummy domain that has loaded but in your actual data you will see that there is something fishy going on in this app domain and you can look for this process which is 2316 and you can see what is going inside that guys okay so yeah that's pretty much it for the uh for hunting on basic powershell execution and at the end we have proved our hunting exercise to be successful that there is some powershell techniques that is being used and that is being leveraged by the attackers okay i will see you guys in part three